Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Ebok, and in this video, I will show you how you can find the slime key. That is, uh, you will kind of useful for opening the third dungeon in the Link's Awakening. But first, we need to help Richard out here with getting some golden leaves. Uh, actually, five. So let's just show you really quickly how to get them. I really wonder if there's a story behind all these frogs, by the way. Okay, so first we're just gonna move towards the castle that he mentioned. Now, um, there's a little, well, of course there are spoilers because, you know, this is a how-to guide. But there is also a spoiler for the, um, well, the quest or the mission where you have to change items, uh, where you have to trade items. Uh, so, yeah, well, that's gonna be a spoiler, but you have to do it to get through this uh, little challenge. Okay, so we're just gonna get moved through here. I always find these guys a little bit annoying. Okay, so now we just have to get through these um, picks. Alright, so up here we have one thing that you might want to enter. This is where in a layer. Uh, this place you can actually turn in all those little shells you found. And over here you also have a teleporter if you have the shovel. Yeah, so here we have one other shell, so that's a little extra. But you can see over here, if you use a shovel, then you can, um, you know, activate the teleporter. So let's just quickly do that. Okay, now let's move on down here, three sides, and here let's talk to this little chimp. So Kiki the monkey, he actually wants bananas. now. The bananas you get for turning in the canned food from, um, well, if you actually turn in the canned food at the crocodile guy at the beach area. So now, if you give him bananas, his little friends will make a bridge and do a little happy dance, which is awesome. And they also will give you your next item, being a stick. I'm not going to tell you where you can use the stick, but um, you can do it before the next dungeon. So yeah, let's just move to here. And to this left side over here, you can just destroy this plant. And then you have a secret staircase down. So this is the little back entrance towards the castle. So just try to jump on one of the mushroom guys and be prepared to attack immediately. Alright, now let's just jump a few times through here and then we can start collecting some golden leaves. Now, the first one you have to do is to, to the left over here, so let's just kill this guy really quickly. So we have this crow over here on this tree. What you need to do is just lift a rock and just throw it at it. Might aim it a little bit better than I just did. There we go. Now he's just gonna kill him, uh, try to attack us, so now we just have to kill him. Better off just dodging him so you get on the same height, and then we have our first golden leaf. Now let's just move on to the next one. Now we just go to the, on, to the other side of the castle. Now it doesn't really matter if you go to the back or the front. The back has a few less guards. Now we have this little whack-a-mole guy over here, um, he's just gonna throw... Um, bombs at us. But the entire point is just to try to hit them, I think, five times. The second, here's third, fourth, and come on, five. Okay, so there is our second golden leaf. We have three more to go. Now let's just get through these guys. And then we can head inside. Any rubies around? Rubies. Okay, so now we have immediately a few guys attacking us. Now their first one is this floating ball thing. Just try to avoid him. He hurts you, but you can't really damage him. And just kill these two guys with their spears and the red slime. 
if you are there, well, if the slimes are actually on top of you, then you can't use your shield, so just try to avoid them. And here we have our third, third golden leaf, just by killing those guys. Now let's move on a little bit quick on. So once again, two knights, let's kill them. Sliver of a piece of pie. Oh, a piece of pie. A piece of power. Now let's just kill these guys because we want to go stand on that button over there and then we, the gates castles will open. So that's going to make our exit really much easier. And let's just move on to the next part. So down here you will need a few bombs. So we just place a bomb on each of these little cracked statues and then just destroy the knights with the piece of power this is even a little easier but we got our fourth golden leaf one more to go and it's really close by and i assume you can already figure out who has it yeah that guy so now let's just head out on this little first floor or second floor depends on where you live because first floor is for people's ground floors and for many people first floor is also the floor above the ground floor. Why am I talking architecture? So now just take a, a jar and just a pot and just throw it at the door. It's the only way to open it. Nothing interesting and now let's just head at him. Now this guy will do his little spur circle and then he will just throw it at you and somewhere in between you need to attack him. So, um, I didn't figure it out at the beginning of the fight, as you can see, uh, but actually the main, well, the easiest way to dodge it is just by jumping. So just let him throw it at you, and then jump away, and then just try to attack him. He doesn't hit too hard, so, and at this time you should already have a fair number of hearts, so it isn't that bad. And there we have our final golden leaf. Now let's just go back to Richard and see what he's gonna give us. Spoiler alert, it's a slime key. Now let's just go down here and then let's move out. Now we can use the front door, that's a little bit easier. Just be careful with these guys that jump out of these holes. I don't think I'm ever gonna get tired of this art style. It really looks so shiny and awesome. And cute actually. Okay, so this place I still always fall in. Uh, I always keep forgetting that hole is in there. I just wanted to get some easy rubies, but yeah. So now the sparkly cape. Whee! Ah, très bien. I see if you recovered all the leaves. Okay, so now let's just move the statue and then let's, uh, you know, play a little bit of Minesweeper. First we have to go to this cavern, just kill these little green slimes, move this rock and then we can get this chest, which is for an other seashell. Okay, so in the next part you actually need to be very careful. Okay, this part you can just go through. I mean the part when you get outside, you need to be careful because these places have a lot of holes beneath them. So as you're moving, try to be slow. Now the grass patches are, grass patches are always solid ground, but the other ones, uh, you know, the little bushes, you're never sure what's under it. Um, so just be careful, just slash and then move forward. Always check where you're running, like unlike I do. Just. Now there is a piece of heart to the top, but you can't reach it just yet. You will need uh, something you will get in the next dungeon for that. So just be sure to remember it, and if you don't think you can remember it, 
consider making a marker on your map. So if we listen to the arrow then it says we need to use our shovel and there you go we have our slime key. Um, so now you can open the gate in Ukuku Prairie for the, so the third dungeon. If you move this rock you can just jump to back to the other side. And before you run past it like I did my very first time, over here you have the keyhole. So guys that was it, thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time.